Start by mounting the TREM236 programming module. This is done by opening the cover of the WCU. Then mount the red plug in the counterpart, which is placed on the PCB up against the transformer. The programming module now writes connected to EM329, which is the WCU PCB. Now press yes for load and edit. Now check that all parameters are as specified in this table as to the analog side valve. Here you must pause the film and run through parameters 1 to 26 step by step. Please be aware that parameters 6 and 7 specify amperes back and forth and may vary depending on the actuator type. If the parameters are changed, they are saved by holding down arrow up for two seconds. Hereafter, the display will show save slot 1. If this troubleshooting does not solve the problem, you must check how many times the red LED on the PCB flashes. On this overview, you can see what the different number of flashes means. Follow the corrective action as appropriate for the number of flashes you see on your LED. If the display value does not change, it may be due to errors in the feedback from the actuator. If you cannot run the actuator with arrow up down, you may make an adjustment of the upper zero point with a voltmeter mounted. Check if there are errors in the feedback by measuring whether there is a voltage between terminals 6 and 8 which vary during the reset procedure. When the actuator is retracted, the voltage must be zero volts. This is your reference point. When the actuator runs outwards, the voltage must increase. If it still does not work after this troubleshooting, please contact your valve supplier.